hello what's up everyone Ronix with it another tutorial and this is going to be a capture one tutorial whereby we're going to be learning about how to match skin tones in photoshop so basically in this tutorial we want to learn about how to match or correct skin tones in photoshop whereby most times maybe when the makeup artist is trying to apply foundation the color applied may not really be a hundred percent correct or 100% matching with the rest of uh, the skin of the model and we're just going to be learning about how to fix that in a bit in just capture one with just very few and very simple steps and before we can go ahead thank you guys for the 15,000 subscribers I'm really humbled and you guys keep on uh, motivating me to keep on creating more content for you guys to uh, follow along so what I'm going to do I'm just going to come and I'm first going to uh, delete that. So we want to learn about how to match skin tone so that we can match the face of the model and at uh, this lower part from the neck downwards. You can see we have different tones right there. If I told them to undo, you can see uh, the. We are going to try to achieve this look right now. You can see that is the image initially before and after before after so right now we have the blended colors in this very image and these areas are really matching really well so the lower part is matching unlike the before whereby we have some magentas within the lower part of the model's face so i did this in photoshop and it was really a long process and in this tutorial i want to show you guys how to do it very easily in capture one so i'm just going to first of all come and i'm going to delete uh, what i had done then i'm going to now create a new blank layer by just coming you can simply come right here and just click on the plus icon to create a new blank layer that is going to allow us to work on this image uh undistractively and after we have done so we are just going to uh, now get the brush tool i'm sorry if i told you guys can hear some noise in the background i live in a noisy neighborhood so i'm just going to uh, get the brush tool so come and now get the brush tool and this brush tool is going to help us mask out the area we want to fix and for this case that area is going to be the skin area of the model so this is the brush tool and the shortcut for a brush tool, I know it is going to be B, of course. So come and now start selecting on the area we want to fix or the skin area of the model. So you have to select the whole skin of the model for this case. So just come and now get your brush and just start. Sorry about that. So get and now start. So after getting the brush tool, come you can just come and start drawing a mask i don't know what is really wrong so okay my brush tool is right here and let me try to increase i'm just going to turn off the befind after so i think that was the reason as why it was not responding so i'm just going to come and start drawing on the skin area like that so i'm just going to draw a mask and every time we are drawing you're going to notice that the mask is going to be red in color so you shouldn't worry or mind about that so just come and now just draw over the skin area yeah you really have to be careful if at all maybe the model is putting on maybe uh, a red yellow or orange dress you have to be careful with uh, the drawing of your mask on uh, that particular image and you really have to be careful I should say so just come and draw a mask on the skin area like that so if at all uh, you feel like uh, that is enough for you you can release and now increase on the size of your adjustment brush tool by using the brackets on the keyboard the right bracket is going to increase and the left bracket is going to decrease so come and just paint over after getting a bigger brush paint over the overall skin of the model like that so just come and paint over like the whole skin because we want the effect to 
uh, apply onto the whole skin of the model. So let's just try and do that in a bit. So let's just do this quick. So I think that is fine. So after we feel like uh, we have selected, I think we had missed out some areas right here. And after we feel like we have done everything and painted the mask on the area of the skin we want to apply. So I know you may be having your capture one looking really different and in order to have it looking like the Lightroom kind of version, just come right here to window and come to workspace and just click migration and you have them on your right hand side because I feel like having them on your right hand side is really more convenient. So you're just going to move all the way down like this and you're going to come to color editor and under color editor when you drop down we have basic advanced and skin tone so for this case we are not going to be using the advanced we're just going to come straight to skin tone and after we have selected skin tone you're going to get our color picker tool or the eyedropper tool to get the area we want the rest of the skin to look like in this image so for this case i'm just going to click right here because I want the rest of the image to look like this area of the skin. So after I have done so, I'm just going to come all the way down. And when you turn this on and off, you can see we have only affected the skin of the model. And after doing so, come under uniformity and now start moving the hue slider to the right hand side until you feel like uh, the skin tones are now blended and really matching. But that is not all. You can come and maybe knock up the saturation of the image. So let's see the before and after so far for this very image. So that is, this is the after, before, after. You can see right now the image is really having matching skin tones. And uh, remember it is also affecting the other areas of the model's face. Like the lipstick and the eyeshadow and wouldn't want that to happen so we are going to come right above you can now continue even you can even play around with these sliders and continue having a uniform skin tone or you can just continue color grading the image even more uh, to uh, your liking so i'm just going to uh, knock up the saturation tool like that so if i told you feel like uh, it is enough for you you can now come right above here and now we want to deselect or remove the effect from the lips of the model so get our eraser tool and we want to erase uh, the lipstick from all the effects from the lips of the model and the eyeshadow so you're just going to hit ctrl or command plus after getting our eraser tool and just paint over to uh, eliminate the effect from these areas so you just removing the mask from uh, the areas we don't want to be affected in this very image so just don't want her teeth to be affected by our skin matching effect so i think uh, that is fine so you have to be careful while doing this so come right to the eyeshadow and just paint over the areas you don't want to be affected like maybe the eyes of the model like that so just eliminate it from there and now come this side and also try to eliminate it from uh, these particular areas like that so if at all you feel like uh, that is enough for you you can now zoom out and now see the before and after that we have just done so this was the image before after before after i hope you guys are really loving this and if at all you feel like you want to do adjustments even still, you can now even play around with the hues even more after turning back to the after. And now continue playing around with this and having how you end up having uh, the nice skin tones for your images. So you can see if at all I turn this up, what will happen in the image, but that will be too much. So... I'm just going to leave it uh, right there and I'm just going to increase on the saturation a little bit. So this is the image before 
after, before, after. You can see we got rid of the magenta as right below uh, the chin of the model downwards. And uh, we had to match it. You can see, but all I leave this in the middle, you can see the after is really looking harmonized and everything is matching. And the before is really lacking some of the things that are really beautiful. And this is just how to fix makeup or unmatching skin tones in your images in just Capture One. And Capture One is really a professional tool for you guys. And if at all you learn to learn, to love it you won't have to look back and you'll be able to fix anything uh with the makeup maybe force that may be hap happening to your images and if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to subscribe or leave a like button on this video because even your comment is going to be sublime and it's going to be motivating me to keep on creating content for you guys on this channel i'm ronix from Ronnie's Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.